17 miles west of Cedar Point via Route 6. Open every day, rain or shine. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be confusing. Like Swedish techno confusing. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Dance with me, purple cow. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Ooh, you lovely cow. Geico makes it easy. With 24-7 access, all you have to do is go to Geico.com and you can save money on car insurance. It just makes sense. Unlike, you know. Dance with me, purple cow. I like your mood. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be hard. Like, early 90s heavy metal hard. I'm yelling and screaming and I'm loud. Roar. Geico makes it easy. You can review and update your policy or report a claim on Geico.com or the Geico mobile app. Because shouldn't we all have a little less stress in our lives? I'm not even upset about it. Balance, my name is Don Mark Vassell, President A, Balance Radio Network, all across this great land of the United States. Thank you for all of our affiliate radio stations that are joining us, especially those that are in Kansas City, L.A., uh, New Orleans. Oh, wait, wait, there's another one, Boston. That's right. No, I'm kidding. You know what? We'd love to hate the the the, the Patriots and. And Matthew Embry, obviously our, our guest for the first hour, uh, joined us and talked with us a little bit about college hoopage and, and but some NFL stuff. He thinks the Pats are going to do it. Uh, maybe if you're in New England country, you think so. Maybe you got some clam chata. Clam chata. Is it chowder or chata? But either which way, I don't, I hope not. I'm sorry. I know, I know y'all are going to hate me. 917-889-8516 is my digits if you want to call in and talk <clears throat> some divisional, divisional rounds. Divisional, maybe. And Mo from the BS Sports Show is going to be joining us here in just a few moments. We're going to be breaking down the, the divisional round games. And that is the Kansas City Chiefs host the New England Patriots, and the New Orleans Saints host the L.A. Rams. Can I take a moment here? Because I am on loan from God. I am, I am your authority. Respect my authority, if you will. Remember back at the beginning of the season, preseason even. I'll, I'll go back and I'll play you the audio on pre from the preseason, I said to you, the St. Louis Rams are the team to look for in the Super Bowl. Everybody called me. I just said St. Louis. Woo! The three years in, and, and I'm still calling them the St. Louis Rams. I'm going to do the same thing with the Chargers. I'm going to be calling them the San Diego Chargers. The L.A. Rams, I am so sorry. My apologies. My apologies. I know uh, it's okay. You guys are up early listening to us. It's seven o'clock in the morning there, and you're listening to us, and you're like, "Did he just say St. Louis?" No, I didn't. You're you're hearing things. You're you're still recovering from your from your stupor. <laughs> yes, I said that. But <clears throat> I think this is going to be historic, though. Honestly, I mean, we we look at two quarterbacks. That that might get the MVP, obviously with the, the Saints, and that's Drew Brees. I like Drew Brees. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I do. I like the Saints. They're a good team. I mean, certainly, if you're a Saints fan, you got a lot to be accomplished for, and, and a lot to be proud of. But you got a St. Louis Rams team, and I mean. <laughs> They, they've checked all the boxes. Sean McVay, uh, I mean, 
get they have checked all the boxes. But I guess we could say that about any of the four teams that are left because they have checked all of the boxes. One of the boxes being a win to get to where they're at. So at this point, do we do we say any team sucks? No. Every team that's in where now doesn't suck as much as as much as it, it pains me to say. But let's talk a little bit about the dynasty of the New New England Patriots. <clears throat> if the Kansas City Chiefs win, let's let's give credit where credit's due. There, I know it's only a, there's only a three point spread there. <laughs> Nobody ever wants to say that the New England Patriots aren't going to win in the division. I mean, how many divisional? Nineteen is it? Right? I think it's nine. I think it's nineteen. Uh, divisional championships and countless Super Bowls dynasty. I think we all can say that. But just remember what happened with with the gang dynasty. It went downhill. It is time for Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and the New England Patriots, and Kraft, who has nothing to do with Kraft cheese, might want to start eating some macaroni and cheese because... We just gotta we just gotta throw all the bad juju we can to the to the New England Patriots. I know. I know I know there's a small group of people up there in Boston that are listening to us and say, Oh, well, yeah. That's why I don't listen to the balance. <laughs> so we got we we have down to four teams. And then we're gonna at the end at the end, by the end of the day tomorrow, we're going to know who's going to be in the Super Bowl. Here's my thoughts. It's going to be the St. Louis Rams and the Kansas City Chiefs. Mark it down right now as we stand by for Mo from the BS Sports Show, who's going to join us here in just a few, a few short minutes. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> He's going to tell us you to bet on, too, though. We, I, you always got to wait before we talk to Mo to put our money down. He's going to tell us who to bet on, who not to bet on. But it is Divisional Championship Weekend. we got a great game on tap here in Indiana, IU-Purdue today. So a lot going on in sports. And we talked a little bit with, with uh, uh, Matthew Embry about Jalen Ertz uh, tra- transferring from Oklahoma over to, I mean, transferring from Alabama over to Oklahoma. Let's talk a little bit about that because we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to uh, regurgitate everything uh, with the NFL until we have Mo on. Then, we, then we'll do all the regurgitation that we want. <laughs> Let me know that he makes us vomit. No, <clears throat> excuse me. I have been dealing with this stuff in my throat. Way too long, let me tell you. So here, here's my theory. If you graduate college, you can play any game where you want to play. But if you don't, it's okay. There's still rules. I get it. I understand it. But Jalen Hurts wanted to go somewhere where he could win a national championship. And let's, let's be real about it. Let's be real about it. Transferring from Alabama, Alabama to Oklahoma. No pun intended. He wanted to get a national championship sooner than later because he probably would never have an opportunity again. This is a great opportunity for Lincoln Riley as well because I honestly think he's right on the brink of winning a national championship, especially when we saw what Clemson was able to do against uh, Alabama, how Clemson was able to come back and win against Alabama a comeback. There was no comeback. There was no there was no comeback story there. Why did I say comeback? Maybe maybe come back from previous years to win against uh, to win against Alabama. <laughs> oh, you know we're going to be getting into some um, um, hoop talk, if you will. Here in the very near future, we're going to be getting into some NBA talk. Maybe we'll be able to, to squeeze some in here with Mo from the BS Sports Show as soon as he joins us here momentarily. 
Where's the snow here in Indianapolis? I think it's coming. You know, I was all prepared for this for this uh, hibernation weekend, and it's like, oh, I wake up in a with a big disappointment. <laughs> Those of you in non-snow states don't get it. Nine one seven eight eight nine eight five one six is my digits. Some of the top stories going on right now. Obviously, uh, uh, Carmelo Anthony. Anthony uh, hints at uh, his basketball return. Shall we talk about Carmelo Anthony? What are, what is up with these? Well, so it's not just in the NBA. We see it in the MLB. We see it in the NFL. We see it everywhere. I was great one time, and I'm as great as I ever was. So I'm going to come back over in the MLB, just kind of going through some of the uh, the headlines. Chris Bryant, uh, Bryce Harper will not join the Cubs. Oh, darn. Darn the luck. This comes from a guy who hates the Cubs. I know. I, you guys are expected to, to have the homerness. Of it. I'm a diehard St. Louis Cardinal guy. Let's go Cardinals. So I'm not disappointed at all that Chris Bryant and Bryce Harper not to join the Cubs. We can, we can continue our talk. We're just standing by. We're, we're, at this point, what we're doing is I, I need one of those fidget spinners. Does anybody have a fidget spinner that I can have? Because that's what we're doing right now. We're waiting for Mo from the BS Sports Show. I know he's he's got a lot going on. He said he's going to join us here in just a few minutes. Win, uh, Wendell Carter Jr. out eight to 12 weeks with a thumb injury. Now, let's – that's a that's a huge impact. That's a huge impact. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, NHL talk a little bit about NHL with the hockey. Uh, Ryan Johansson has suspended two games for high stick. It's legal in Colorado. Anyway, just saying. <laughs> Eric Berry will play against the Pats. Let's talk a little bit about Antonio Brown. Should the Colts make a play for them? I don't know. We'll let's see. We'll see what happens there. Also, the Cowboys fire their offensive uh, coordinator, Scott Lehan. Well, they needed to fire somebody, I guess, at the end of this year. Remember at the beginning of the year, we said Jason Garrett was going to be was going to be uh, on the hot seat. You know, we typically also don't talk boxing, but big boxing game tonight, game match. Sorry. Uh Sergio Cavero, um, by the way, which is also, I got sidetracked there, but he's accused of punching a woman and charged with a felony. Well, there you go. Standing by for my <laughs> sports show. Mo! Welcome to Mo's. Give somebody some free advertising there. So we have to make up a break from uh, earlier on because we were we were just rambling on with uh, Matthew Embry. My name is Tom Marcus El Presidente. We'll be right back right here on the Balance Radio Network. National Guard is a reserve component of the United States Air Force and serves alongside active duty Air Force members in times of a national crisis. In addition, the Air Guard serves the state and local community in a wide range of capacities. The reason people join the Air Guard is as diverse as our members and includes such reasons as a deep desire to serve their country, money for college, travel, new job skills, and the pride that goes along with belonging to the greatest military organization in the world. I joined because I felt a calling to serve my country, but I didn't want to be far away from my family, so the Indiana Air National Guard was a perfect fit for me. With over 95 different career opportunities to choose from and 100% paid college tuition to any state-funded college, why not give us a call? Call 1-800-841-3103 or visit online at goang.com. 